Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Rupan the Third Part 3 Episode number 34 and 44 Reaction. Uh, these two were also recommended to me by you guys and uh, yeah, here we are. Okay, so the previous two episodes uh, that I reacted to, one of them was the one with uh, the quintuplets and the other one was uh, the one where <coughs> Senigasa uh, gets like, you know, mad on Rupan because uh it seemed as if rupan killed that girl i forgot the girl's name but the girl was like you know from the beginning tricking him so the one with the quintuplets it was it was an interesting episode um it was um i halfway through the whole process i was able to realize they're actually twins and even at that moment i thought they were twins not quintuplets and uh, that was like an interesting way like a little twist we had and <coughs> in the end we see how um they tried to trick um rupan and his crew and got the xanthet skin unfortunately it didn't work out as the girls thought it would and they weren't able to get that casino uh, like you know that uh, thing the pinball machine and uh, yeah like so by the end of it they had to take our help lupan's crew help and uh, <clears throat> we got the machine and you know like they they pointed a gun at lupan's crew but you know like uh, like everyone decided that yeah let them take it and uh, that was like a happy ending you could say and uh, yeah nobody guessed anything but at least it was like a good thing that they did and the next one was the one where oh Zenigata gets tricked by, by a girl <laughs> who had plans of getting uh, like a you know, hand on the gold of that guy that the, the one who Rupan had ties with and uh, <laughs> It was funny to see, you know, like the whole change in his, like, what can I say? Like, as soon as Zenigata shot Rupan, like, it, he thought that he killed him. And it was funny to see how he, like, you know, always, like, you know, con con like, you know at that moment changed. And he was like, oh, what have I done? And, like, obviously, we all of us knew that Rupan definitely is not dead. Like, how can that be? Like, you know, he wouldn't let himself get killed that easily. <laughs> and then when we see... <laughs> He thought he like he 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 made up his mind to just like you know, keep repenting in front of Rupan's grave for the whole rest of his life, <laughs> and then he sees like Rupan is alive and he's so happy. Like that was that was funny and uh, yeah, we were able to get you could say a happy ending by that by the end of that as well. Everyone was happy except the girl. <laughs> yeah, that was that. So yeah, let's get started. This is episode number thirty four. So yeah. Let's start. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started. Alright, here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Hmm. <clears throat> Alright, we're coming close to the end of my reactions to part 3. Uh, the next uh, week will be the final two episodes I'll be reacting to from part 3. And then we'll start part 4 and I can't wait to start because uh, like part 4, I've heard from part 4, it gets really good. Part 4, part 5 and yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. And I don't know, um, I, I feel like uh, from part 4 it gets more um, continuous, isn't it? Like, you know, the way this is like episodic from like, you know, up until now, like every episode is like a standalone. I think that kind of changes from part 4, which would also kind of help, I guess, in making the anime a lot better. Because I've seen this a lot. Episodic animes are nice, but I feel like whenever there's like a continuous, like, you know, progression, it's a lot better and it works out pretty well so yeah like uh, i'm looking forward to that <clears throat> oh my god what's happening what Whose car is this? Ed. 
What? <laughs> oh. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Someone keeping an eye on them? Yep, two of them. Oh. <laughs> All right. Pochi. <clears throat> Oh, they're keeping an eye. All right, they got their... Okay. Oh! Hmm. All right. Jigen is ready with his gun. Ah! Oops! Wow! <laughs> Perfect! Perfect! <laughs> Manhattan scandal, okay. Yeah. Oh, he betrayed. Hmm. All right. Oh, whoa, what is that? Is that money? Is that plane ticket? He has so many of them? Whoa, who shot? Oh my god, it's those two, isn't it? Oh, great. Oh my god. But, uh, uh. Wait, what? Is that a. F <laughs> oh my god, this guy is a genius. It's a genius. I was like, why is there no blood? <laughs> Yo, Zenigata, you're... You should shave. Yeah, true, you know. <laughs> oh, God. No. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so they're waiting for Rupan to do the deed, and I'm guessing... What the? Peter. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, right, okay. <coughs> mm. Mm. 
Yeah. Wait, what? Eight million. <laughs> Well, I'm pretty sure she's going to do something. She'll probably just... Yeah, oh god, she is up to no good again. <laughs> nice dream. <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> okay, whoa. Damn, like a Tommy gun. Oh yeah, okay. She dodged the bullets. What the hell, Rupan? Where did you get those moves from? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> there you go. That's the FBI for you. <laughs> FBI. <laughs> Oh, she's angry. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> oh. Ah, money. Perfect. Oh, God. <laughs> run, run, run. Nice catch. Hopefully those, oh my god, those guys will probably try to, uh, oh no, oh, never mind. These guys are persistent. Oh yeah, the, the bomb is ready. Okay. Oh no, not a bomb. What is that? Oh, it's a controller. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, these guys, I knew it. Now they're going to try to take it from them. Oh, great. Yeah, I knew it. What did you do? Nothing? Yeah? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Unlike you. Is it, is it locked? Oh my god. Rupan, please. <laughs> Wait, what? Are these fake? What? Oh my god. Wait, then... Wait, then they... Oh, it's a trick, it's a trick. It's a trick, I feel like that's a trick. Rupan, oh no, never mind. I thought he was going to trick it like like that, trick Fujiko like that. Oh, so they knew that, and that's why. Oh God! Wow. They knew that's why they they changed the thing to a fake money. Okay. I, for a moment, I thought Rupan did that deliberately to. Like, you know, make Fujiko go away or something, but never mind.
<laughs> Wait, what the hell? Yo, that's a grenade. What is that? Pipe bomb? The pipe bomb. What the? This this guy is really like you know related to them them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn, look on. Yeah, is that it? Oh my god, what? Oh my god, more of them. Wow, everyone has- okay. Great. Everyone's a maf- everyone's related to the mafia. <laughs> wow, the- I'm guessing these- okay. This guy's also the mafia. Well, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Jump! <laughs> yeah, he's also part of the map. Yeah. That... <laughs> oh my god, this is hilarious. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> the train, the one who's driving the train is also probably. Yeah, everyone's a mafia here. Let's see. No, I don't think so. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Everybody. Wow. Oh my god. What the hell? Oh my god, they're also mafia. <laughs> No money, no Rupan. Oh, there, there, there is Rupan. There you go. <laughs> Zinigata is like, what the hell is happening? I'm supposed to do that. My God. I don't know. Oh my god, I, it's probably inside the safe. <laughs> and it's probably inside that bin. A mafia. Ah, mafia again. Another mafia. <laughs> wow. Okay, this is a problem. How do we stop this? Take the boss down? Is that, is that the way to stop this? Are you dead? <laughs> Immortal. There you go, you're correct. Oh no. Uh, it's probably somewhere here. Ah, uh, there they are. Oh, they were inside the safe, okay. <laughs> yeah, I think we need to bring this guy down. Yeah, this guy needs to be taken down. Yeah. There you go. 
Oh, they don't know that it's him in front. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> yeah. Entire house. What's her plan? Like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, this, this mansion. Oh, how? Oh. <laughs> My god. <laughs> yeah, 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 we we need his help. There you go. Uh, they're coming here. So So she's planning to use him to get in or something? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is how it paints. <laughs> oh, this is what he was plan she was planning. Oh my god. Oh m all right. That's why okay. <laughs> More purple. True. <laughs> He was used as a scapegoat. Poor thing. Yeah. Obviously, like, there would be. Oh! What is that? Smoke them out. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, the smoke is coming. Oh, oh, my God. They have awful less security. Like, there's no security here. What the hell? Like, they have people throughout the whole place, and there's no security here. Fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, going on is ready. Whoa. What? <laughs> what? Okay. A pineapple, all right. What's up with his head? <laughs> oh. Yeah, <laughs> took his car. Great. Uh, is he still here? Oh my god.
<laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> How is he keeping up? He's running and they're in cars. What the hell is any of that? <laughs> Great, okay, this <laughs> Oh my god, this was, oh <laughs> This was weirdly funny <laughs> uh, Like how, like all the people uh, All the people in the city was like Related to the mafia while they themselves In their mansion were like all alone, like three of them only like what? Like you know to keep a little bit more security. Like what? <laughs> oh. oh god. Like I feel. Like <laughs> I feel like what they should have done. Like you know when the guys asked like boss, what are you going to do with the eight million? He would have. He, he should have probably said like I would probably invest more in security. <laughs> like what? What the hell? Like he he had no one guarding that place. Yeah, and he had so much money in it. Like what did he expect? Like you know. Oh. <laughs> and oh my god like i feel like this time fujiko was a lot what can i say like uh, lacking you know like like he she you know used that guy to just paint the whole thing and what else like yeah this episode fujiko was lacking you know like she could have done this in a, a lot better way the whole like you know uh trying to cover the whole windows with what do you call it uh paint so that it gets dark and like what did she expect like you know like they as soon as it gets dark they would come out without taking the money obviously not they would go inside and try to see if someone takes tries to take the money so fujiko just doing that and just getting in and trying to get her hands on the money was foolish of her i have to say this episode fujiko did not act like how he, she usually acts like that was a very a uh, weak plan and uh like you know oh my god okay this episode here we get involved with the mafia here and uh okay so first of all we see lupin trying to track down and like you know he had to actually go through a lot of other people like you know like bribing them and everything like at first there was like these two random guys on the street they give them a little uh what do you call it a little lead on the whole thing and tells them to go to like what's the name of the guy like some cart or something i don't know cart cart yeah that was his name uh, and you know ask him for more info he goes there and then like he goes to the original guy who is being hunted by the mafia because he betrayed them and so here's the thing i'm guessing uh the the two the two brothers were probably following lupin for two reasons obviously number one is like you know try to track down this guy the guy who betrayed them and they probably thought that yeah lupin if I, we follow lupin he would track him down for us so he um so he so they used that opportunity to follow them and was able to get to the position of the guy who betrayed them and uh, Ruban gets in and gets more information from him and now I don't know why Ruban had so many tickets in his pocket like, <laughs> like did he like come ready with it and he was like <laughs> I have no idea why he had so many. At first, I thought that was money, and then he was just like, "Oh, there you go, a plane ticket." <laughs> so yeah. Okay, now here these brothers shoot him, and oh my god, this guy was. <laughs> this guy was what can I say? So cautious. He put a fake head. And obviously, like, if you have a head forehead this big, obviously they'll try to, uh, like, you know, shoot somewhere in the middle of the forehead. And <laughs> that would save him. 
And he, he, oh my god, this, yeah, this guy probably did the, one of the most big brain moves here. Literally big brain. <laughs> and he was able to successfully, uh, like, you know, escape the assassination. And I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, like, no one would get, like, you know, like, everyone think he's dead. So no one will try to uh, attack him after this. He probably has gone and is out of this country, probably back to Africa. So using the plane ticket that Lupin gave him, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so that was nice. He was able to escape safely. Uh, but all right, so here um, we see Zenigata is also here. He is talking with the mafia boss, and also he doesn't. I, I don't think he knows that he's a mafia boss. So uh, the mafia boss got more information from Zenigata, and uh, Zenigata obviously, like you know always like you know praises rupan so much he probably said something like oh rupan like you know, he you know he did so many things like he he's like this master thief this that he probably just bragged about rupan and then said like ah, i'm definitely going to capture him i'm just keeping him like you know uh at my hands to reach so that if i catch him it's over you know like yeah I, I'll, I'll i'll lose like and i don't have anything to do so i'm just keeping him at my hands reach so that i can capture him whenever i can <laughs> just and the mafia boss was like, all right. So what their actual plan was, as far as I could understand here, is that <clears throat> they, they tricked Rupan to get the money. And that was fake money. And he did that so that he could have a reason to kill Rupan. Is that, is that what he tried to do here? I think so. Or something like that, I'm guessing. Um... Yeah, and they also got hands on the money themselves, uh, like the eight million was, was pounds, wasn't it, or was it? I think so. No dollars. There you go, eight million dollars. So, oh yeah, this is yeah. Okay. So now Ruban comes to Fujiko here, and oh my god, like he like you know gives her like a good proposition. He's like, you know what, like you come and help me, like you know we're going to get a lot of money, and like this is the thing like you know she could have helped him out uh, just like she usually does not just wait for them with some champagne and you know like he she could have gotten a cut out of it like 8 million yen and like yeah like she could have gotten an easy cut out of that so yeah like she not yen sorry dollars i always forget uh, 8 million dollars and uh, but no she she was like oh i am here with like, I guess because she did not help Lupin because she already had a plan to nab that money. She was going to use the art guy to... That was, as I again said, that was a very weak plan. I am disappointed, Fujiko. That plan was bad, like, you know, plain bad. Like, you know, that's not a plan at all. He, she just thought that the guy would paint the uh, windows and then she would get in and take the money. Like, is it that simple? Obviously not. But I don't know why, but she thought that that would work. So she was like, oh, no, look, I'm, I'm, I'm like, you know, I, I love art. So yeah, <laughs> the Rupan was like, all right, you be with your art and we're going to get um, our money now. And obviously Fujiko, like Fujiko, like, you know, as I said, like, you know, I said this in one of the previous episodes as well. Fujiko always checks out the situation, whichever situation goes according, uh, like, you know, goes according to her plan or whichever situation is better for her she jumps on that lane so that's how she betrays people like she sees whichever path like for her whichever path seems a lot easier and a lot more profitable she jumps on that and like you know that's like impartial she's impartial about that like you know so anyone she can betray anyone in that thing so that's why he again she again kept her like, you know paths open she was like all right if rupan gets the money i'll jump ship if rupan doesn't get that money i'll be here and try to get it on my own so she just was probably waiting uh, in the room with the champagne and everything just ready and if he, she saw that Rupan didn't get the money she would probably bail out uh, but the actual uh, you know uh, robbery itself was pretty easy you know like we had uh, the FBI and we also had the Shinsengumi with us And yeah, I love how like I feel like this is the first time I saw Rupan using some kind of an automatic, uh, like, you know, machine gun like a Tommy gun he was using. This is the first time I actually like he usually uses pistols and stuff. Never seen him using any kind of 
uh, SMG or something. But yeah, there you go. He and Lekanon Zenigata, all of them were just not Zenigata, uh, Jigen were all ready. And they get the money from the mafia and they were ready with the uh, car. They probably, like, you know, did something to the car as well. Yeah, they did it. And they controlled the truck that were following them and get out with the money. Comes back to their hideout. Fujiko's waiting. Oh, I was so concerned, Rupan. You know, like. <laughs> then she's like, all right, how do we open this? And Rupan opens it. Now, here's one thing. I thought here, Rupan changed the money to these fake things because he wanted Fujiko to just go away and then he would bring out the actual money but turns out it was not like that would be kind of funny you know if that actually was what happened here but no they re really were tricked and Fujiko just goes away and we get to know the actual plan of the mafia boss they were the mafia boss that was like all right now we get a like you know uh, actual like you know reason to get Rupan and they're like after Rupan is dead everything will be fine perfect so he orders everyone to just you know kill Rupan and oh my god here we go the chaos starts <laughs> in the tavern they're greeted with a pipe bomb and <laughs> they come outside <laughs> and oh my god the, like everyone has like a gun with them and everyone's part of the mafia here and that chase was hilarious like at each and every place that they went even the train and everything like there's like mafia waiting for them <laughs> And like while like you know, all of this was happening, Zenigata was like uh, like just wandering around, no Rupan. And then Rupan pops up. He also starts following them. And by the end of it, he sees the whole place gets blown up by that random skateboarder <coughs> who was also part of the mafia. And again, Zenigata is like, oh, Rupan's dead. Like you know, like uh, like he just tries to find him and just unable to find him. And Rupan. And Zen, uh, Jigen were safe in that safe. Safe in that safe, yeah. <laughs> so now everyone thinks Rupan is dead, you know, which is perfect. And they wouldn't try to come, like, you know, at him again. So Rupan has more scope to actually hunt these guys down. So, uh, like, I still think it was extremely foolish of them to not keep any security in their mansion. Even if Rupan was dead, like, you know, they should have some sort of security. Like what the hell are they doing? They kept the the money in like a separate room with them in some separate room just having a nice time. Like what the hell dude? Like you, you guys are supposed to be mafia. You should be more careful. Like why? <laughs> that was like, like these two are the most foolish things I think. This one and Fujiko's like kind of plan. These two were the most like weirdest and most foolish things I've ever seen them do. You know like the mafia just keeping the money somewhere else and Fujiko coming in with such a weak plan. But yeah, but Rupan's plan was a solid plan. He 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 planned on smoking them out. So they come in like, to the mansion and uh, while Fujiko also comes and Rupan was like, alright, let's see what they do. If they make our work easier for us. And I guess she kind of did make the work work a little bit easier. She, they you know, use the guy just painted the windows. It was dark. They, they you know, destroyed the circuits or whatever so that electric doesn't, like, you know, like get in. Like the electricity is cut off as well. And uh, like nothing is working. And oh my God, Fujiko just, just gets in the room and just like, oh my money, and tries to get it. Like what the hell? <laughs> and the guy catches her. Obviously, like, you know, there would be some sort of security. Like, even if it's like two or three of them, they were keeping an eye on the money. So, and Rupan uses this opportunity to smoke the whole place and... <laughs> Jigen was like, you know, using the lock to just hammer the place. So they were, obviously, it's dark, it's smoky, and like, you know, the whole building is shaking. And they're like, oh my god, it must be a fire or something. And... <laughs> They, like, you know, they get the money to get out, which could try to nab the money, but unfortunately it didn't work. And oh god, like I don't know how the hell <laughs> that worked, but Goemon didn't even need to use his sword. He just threw fruits at them. Pineapple, banana, apple, or whatever, like you know, those watermelons and all that stuff. Grapes as well, like I don't know what the grapes did, but... <laughs> I don't 
think if you throw grape at someone, it will do any harm. Watermelon makes sense, pineapple makes sense, apple also kind of makes sense. But grapes? <laughs> but yeah, just let's just you know, add that into that as well. Why not? <laughs> oh, the made a complete fruit salad out of these three. And the guy with the other guy, the big guy, was like, you know, like, did not get knocked out even though pineapple and apples, like, hit him. So, Goemon just, like, threw all the fruits at them and, yeah, there you go. They got the money, Rupan grabs the money and <laughs> the, the art guy was, like, you know, like, flinging onto Fujiko. <laughs> Using that as an opportunity, Rupan grabs the money and gets out. And Fujiko starts chasing them. And it was, and then like you know we see Goemon, uh, G, uh, sorry, uh, Zenigata crying in like you know in front of <laughs> the rubber, and it was nice of Rupan to actually let him know that yeah I'm alive, you know, like otherwise he would have just stayed here, you know, and Rupan would have gone back to Japan, and Zenigata would have just stayed here and kept crying. So it was nice of him to actually let him know that yeah I'm alive, pops, like you know come back, come back to Japan, <laughs> we'll resume our chase over there. And oh my god, the last scene was like a perfect representation of Rupan series as a whole. <laughs> Rupan, Zen, uh, Goemon, and Jigen, like you know, in a car in front, like you know, running away with the money. And behind them is Fujiko chasing them, while behind them is Zenigata chasing all of them. And Zenigata doesn't have a car. So <laughs> that was like the perfect representation. And yeah, that's where it ends. Ah, uh, that was a fun episode. All right, um, that was episode 34. Uh, let's get started with episode number 44. And uh, yeah, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. And let's get started. All right, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. All right, let's see what this is about. <sighs> Ah, oh, Lupin's crew. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's like construction workers. <laughs> oh, Goemon looks good. <laughs> what? Hotel W Astria. Oh, something's happening here. Some kind of exhibition. There you go. Jewels. Jewelry. 
Ah, perfect. Perfect place to rob. <laughs> Is that Fujiko? Oh my god. <laughs> Obviously she would be here. Yeah. Animal fair for jewelers. Oh. Hmm. Five million. Whoa. <laughs> Our dad's a thing. What? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Jack Howard. Yeah, this is loud. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay. How much did they progress? Let's see. <laughs> what the? Ah. Uh. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> ah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, she, he knows his name. Oh no, what the hell? What the hell? Mark? Married? <laughs> Pretty sure? Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? Is this like a trick? This kid is. Wait, what? Oh my god, what the hell? Who is. Okay, what? <laughs> wait, no, no, wait, wait. Who is she talking? No. I thought. If. That's where the title was our dad. Oh no, it's like more children. How many? Wow, okay. <laughs> Last year. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> wow. Okay, Zenigata's here. Mm. 
Yeah, Arupan's not coming this time, you know. Oh my god, he, he'll recognize Fujiko. There you go! <laughs> I did it one one. Oh no, is this... Is this... J Jigen's daughter? Oh no, I'll be surprised if even Goemon... Oh no, Goemon is also... Oh no. <laughs> Wait, he's keeping a tap? Okay. Oh my god, he just told him where he is. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. Wow, this is how they're doing this now. Okay, what? Oh my god, yo! Oh great. That's the card. He, yeah, he probably real okay. Ugh. Every time this happens, she messes up some way. Most of the time, not every time, but most of the time. Great. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. Oh my god. It's a fake one, isn't it? Or... No, 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 okay. <laughs> They're underneath. <laughs> I'm gonna blow the place up now. I feel like the guy doesn't anticipate this. Like the whole Rupan situation. He anticipates Fujiko taking it, but... Yup! There you go. Well... That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Oh. Alright, grab him and run. Fujiko got some of them. But most of them are there. Alright. <laughs> there you go. Oh no! Oh, oh my god, she's going to. Ah! Uh, uh. We. Okay. <laughs> Alright, nice. Yep. How's it hanging? Yeah? Yeah, now these are all ours. 
<laughs> yeah, and we're retiring after this. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Where's Zenigata? <laughs> I wonder what's up with these keys. Why are they like, you know? At first I thought it was some kind of a... I feel like someone's waiting. Yeah. Well, this time Fujiko is the scapegoat. All right, we are out. Nice. Oh no, I feel like Zenigata summons will be waiting here. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Kidnapping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Apparently, wow, what is happening? Um, what the? Wait, that's fake? Oh my god. Oh my god, insurance again? What's up with the insurance? Like, everyone's just doing that now. What the hell? Oh my god, this is like some... Okay. <laughs> yeah, you cannot arrest them now, you know? On the contrary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sombra. Yeah, okay. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, everyone's chasing Fujiko now. This is... <laughs> Wait, where the kids? Mark Vivian. Oh my god! That's what, what their plan was. No, no, no. Oh my god. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Doing your case. Hmm. Who is it then? Yeah. It's look, Fujiko, isn't it? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh my god. This girl.
Oh. <laughs> How is that even possible? But okay. I'm wondering who <laughs> Who would use them the kids like <laughs> so is it that guy who did all of this did Mackie also use the kids again like in the whole insurance thing <laughs> What? Yeah. Oh my god, it is, it was him. Oh no. Oh my god! Under arrest! <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, the kids are here. Oh my God. They probably does, doesn't even realize what they were told to do. Yeah, Mark. Uh, what was his name, that guy? Yeah, yeah. They don't know. Ah. What a scum. Maki, that's his name. Yeah, like he probably told them that this is like an acting thing and the final lesson or something, whatever. <sighs> this guy. Yeah, all right, we'll see. What the? How did they? All right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. You messed with the wrong group, you know? Yeah. My God. <laughs> yeah, have fun underwater. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh my God, he's going to. Why is this rope so slow? <laughs> okay is that it yep that's it well <laughs> uh, like these people they have some solid plans but always at the end they kind of mess up you know this guy had no security again like what the hell 
just like on his car, you know, just going alone, and he expects to run away from Rupan's group. What a joke. <laughs> but his plan was a good one. It was a scummy one, obviously. But according to him, his plan was like, yeah, use the kids and then run away. And uh, the whole insurance thing. And the, like, what's up with this whole... <laughs> I, I feel like this whole insurance thing is... Like, you know, especially in season 3. Like, this whole thing is so... much. Like, I've, I like saw two more episodes like this where they try to do the same thing with uh where they deliberately let the fake one get stolen and then they're like oh like it got stolen i want my insurance money while they themselves had have, have the original money uh not money sorry original jewels so this is like a new <laughs> new kind of plot point in season three i think you know, like using the insurance money or whatever and uh yeah <clears throat> Alright, so this episode, uh, this was episode 44, yeah, episode 44, so, okay, now, this one, um, I wasn't able to understand or realize what was happening up until they revealed it to us, uh, like, I really was thinking, like, who would even use the kids, like, I thought maybe the guy, but I was like, why would the guy, Mackie, I think that was his name, why would the guy use the kids, you know, like, like, and how would he even use them? Like, you know, like, uh, what, what, how, like, you know, how could he make them do this? I was thinking. And there you go. By the end of it, uh, everything comes to light. And, uh, yeah. All right. So here, uh, we get to see how, um, in, the, in the exhibition of the jewelers or whatever it was called, um, <clears throat> they have a lot of jewels and, and jewelry. And obviously, Fuji goes there, as always, you know, like, she is has made a plan to get get the uh, get the jewelry, and uh, while Rupan and the others they are planning on doing it the normal met way that is not normal but the traditional way of just you know, digging a hole and just you know taking like you know like blowing the place up taking the uh, diamonds uh, jewels with them. Okay, so. The problem arises when <laughs> the kids start coming one after the other and they're like oh you're my papa at first it was Rupan then it was Jigen and then Goemon now <clears throat> like obviously like I knew like everyone knew I'm, I'm pretty sure that these are like definitely not their children but the question was that was in my mind like why would they do this first of all and you know like who would even use them there was a point in like you know like in, in the ending almost at the ending where they said like oh maybe the kids stole it that's when i thought like oh maybe they are the one who stole it uh, i thought like they like you know they're maybe they were like a group of like you know kids who are like you know like there's like you know like uh steals and like you know uh what do you call it just uh makes others uh, makes a fool out of others and take their money whatever you know like that type of a group they had or something that moment i thought of that but later on we get to know it's nothing like that so all right so yeah these kids starts coming one after the other and it was funny to actually see how <laughs> they were thinking of like you know robbing the bank and like you know kind of pickaxing the way through and then suddenly all these kids come in and they're like you know just preoccupied with taking care of the kids <laughs> And uh, another thing we should see here is like these kids were actually part of the actors group so they were genuinely convincing which shows that they are they really do have that talent and they really was able to, were able to do the job properly so that's I could say you could say that that's like a good thing now I don't I don't know how they were able to get hold of the toddler completely like you know the one like, you know, who's like completely like you know like a child who has like a pacifier in the mouth that that kid who's probably like one year old or something i don't know how that kid is a part of the group as well or maybe that was like some kind of like someone's brother or sister or something maybe one of the kids i don't know but yeah like you know like everyone's just comes one after the other <laughs> And they're like papa papa, and 
as I said, like, and I, I felt like you know, this whole thing quite funny because they just stopped the whole like, you know, plan and they were like, oh, we need to take care of this <laughs> kids. <laughs> They're like, going outside, like, you know, trying to buy diapers and stuff. Going on, it's like disgusting. Like, you know, how could they? And then like suddenly some other kids come in. <laughs> Calls Goemon Papa. <laughs> okay, so now uh, he he does call Fujiko and asks her for help, but Fujiko's like, "Oh, I have my own job to do this and that." And Zenigata like had tap, you know, like you know the whole thing and uh, the conversation, and he realized that oh, Lupin is over there, that that part where that uh, hideout that they were hiding in. And uh, after that, okay, we see that Fujiko's actual plan was taking, like, obviously, like, Fujiko's, like, plan is obviously that, like, like, what do you call it, like, make a fool out of someone, uh, take whatever they have and backstab them. That was also the part of her plan as well. And he took the, she took the card, the, the, the identification card or whatever that thing, and um, she took it and uh, she decided to just you know grab the uh, jewels herself uh unfortunately she did not realize that the guy was onto this now i do was one i was wondering that what the guy would do i was thinking like the guy would probably like you know alert the security or something and like grab fujiko and uh, then you know like i don't know like i i, I did think and for a moment that like what would come out of this like you know he's just going to like you know capture fujiko as a prisoner and that would be it you know like it, it didn't make sense any like you know, he wouldn't gain anything but there you go again the whole insurance thing comes up and i was like oh boy here we go again you know the same <laughs> like you know the method that two other characters in this season also use the whole insurance thing like oh they grab the fake jewels i get my jewels i also get my insurance money and yeah so that was his plan now Fujiko gets in, uh, she is able to open the thing while underneath Rupan with his children, Rupan Jigen and <laughs> Goemon with his children were just, um, you know, like kind of using the plastic, like, you know, explosives to blow the place up. They blew it up and for a moment I thought Rupan won this whole thing. I was like, alright, like the guy, I thought that Maki or, yeah, that was his name, Maki would genuinely be surprised because I thought that he only knew about Fujiko. I thought that he didn't have any idea about that Rupan is also trying to get the hands on the money. So I was like, oh, they would get Fujiko, but they wouldn't get Rupan who would have all the other jewels. They would probably be able to get the jewels that are on Fujiko at that moment. But the majority of it will be with Rupan. I was like, oh, Rupan wins. But like, here's the thing. Um, they're able to bring the whole thing down. Rupan gets all the jewels and Fujiko's like, oh, like, you know, I also want more of that. Rupan is like, you be, like, you know, content with what you have. And <laughs> grabs the jewels, get out, while Fujiko almost gets captured. And she gets trapped. And everyone's like, you know, like, got Fujiko and arrested. While Rupan is able to escape with everything and gets to his hideout. And I'm like, all right, Rupan has won. He has got the jewels. And Fujiko unfortunately became the scapegoat here, which usually happens the reverse way where Fujiko, uh, like, you know, escapes with the thing and Rupan and his crew gets becomes the scapegoat. It was kind of refreshing to see Fujiko running away from the police. <laughs> but obviously Zenigata is waiting for them and Zenigata's like, oh, I'm going to arrest you now. And then he's like, wait a minute, you have, who are those kids? <laughs> Rupan is like, oh, these are my, like, you know, apparently these are my kids, and, like, you know, and <laughs> Zenigata's like, what have I done? Like, what am I even doing, wasting my life, just, getting, you know, trying to catch you? I could have had a wife and a family up until now, like, the, the amount of time I spent trying to catch you. <laughs> and he is just crying. And now here's the thing. <laughs> In the later portion of this episode, we see Zenigata saying, like, oh, you should, like, you know, like, redeem yourself you know like you have kids now and it was like you know trying to capture Rupan because of that like <laughs> i feel at that moment you know when zenigata was crying he was crying thinking about all the time he has wasted trying to capture Rupan. 
And as he said, like, you know, he probably regretted the fact that he could have easily had a family during this time and had one or two kids. And he wasn't, he didn't able, wasn't able to do that. And Rupan and everyone have kids now. So he probably thought that, you know what, like, you know, I can see how I wasted my life. So I wouldn't let Rupan and his, like, you know, crew waste their lives. They should now live for their family. <laughs> That's why he was genuinely probably concerned by the end of it. And that's why he was chasing them, trying to make them redeem themselves. And he would probably just arrest them and they would, Zenigata would probably be like, oh, like, you know, you should probably change your mind and like, you know, live for your family now or something. Like, you know, like, I feel, felt like the ending section where Zenigata was trying to catch him was for genuine concern, not for the fact that he wants to arrest Rupan, but he was genuinely concerned about his family. <laughs> and wanted him to live his life the proper way after here onwards so that was why he was trying to catch him <laughs> that was kind of funny okay uh fujiko realizes that he she has been framed the uh, jewels are fake and the guy has you know like made a fool out of her so she's like oh i'll get you and uh, and here we get to know about the whole insurance thing and i'm like oh my god not again <laughs> And yeah, so Rupan and they realized, their crew realized that the kids are gone with the money, uh, not the money, but the jewels. Uh, it was kind of nice to see Rupan unable to understand the fact that they would actually trick him, which probably, I, I think, like, you know, makes us realize that Rupan generally got attached to the kids. He didn't even think that they would, like, you know, take the money, uh, jewels and run away. And, uh, like, you know, because he probably thought that, yeah, they wouldn't do that. And here's the thing, you know, turns out by the end of it, you know, even though Rupan didn't realize that the kids were the one who took it, uh, like, she was correct in a way. The kids really did not realize what they were doing. So their innocence was genuine. And Rupan actually believed in their innocence from the get-go. When I think, like, Jigen or someone, yeah, Jigen, I think, probably uh, made him, like, you know, made, yeah, Jigen. Like, you know, when Rupan says that, <clears throat> yeah, when Rupan says that, oh, like, what I was saying, like, you know, kids are not here. And Jigen said that, uh, Goemon said, like, Jigen is trying to say that the kids deceived us. You know, at that moment, Jigen is the one who made him, like, you know, told him that. But Rupan up until that point was still believing in the innocence of the kids. Which, you have to say, like, you know, it's like, I also thought that at that moment that, yeah, the kids were the one who deceived them. It's probably like some kind of a gang. They did do this for the, for a living or something. Like, you know, and I thought it was something like that. I'm pretty sure Jigen and Goemon also thought that. But not Rupan, though. Rupan was believing in the kids up until the end. It is nice to see that after that, when we actually get to know the real reason, it is true in a way. The kids really were innocent. You know, they didn't know what they were doing. So Rupan was correct. By believing in them and uh, yeah okay so Fujiko comes in like you know the, the police is behind them and yeah like as always Fujiko just drags them into her problems just like she usually does and uh, <laughs> yeah they run away they then are able to go okay uh, the, the whole mannequin thing happens you know they're like posing as mannequins and oh my god, I feel like in this episode we see Goemon in a lot of dresses, you know, like the whole construction dress, then like, you know, the, the mannequin dress that she, he was wearing. And, <laughs> and here uh, Fujiko tells uh, Rupan where, <coughs> where he, she met uh, the guy. I forgot his name again. Anyways, um, so yeah, so she said like it's like an actor's institution or whatever something and she's like i met him there and there you go and then we get to know that the kids were actually part of that actors group or whatever no not there sorry we we actually go to that place and we ask that where is he and uh, the the man the person in the reception says like oh he just closed it down and it was the final day with the kids and there we get to see the kids coming in now here's the thing even at that moment, I thought, yeah, the, after, kid, after, after the kids see him, they would probably try to run away. Because even at that moment, I thought the kids, you know, deliberately tricked them and took the gold, uh, the jewels. Just like how Jigen and Zenigata thought. And as, and as soon as we see that, 
you know, like them coming in and them genuinely being surprised and they're like, uncle. And Rupan, everyone was surprised. I was also surprised and then it clicked in me. I'm like, oh my God. So basically Mackey, I think that was his name. He used the kids to do that. And since this is like an actor's thing, it immediately clicked in me. I was like, okay, they probably said something like, oh, this is like your last lesson as an actor. Do this. Take the jewels and you'll pass or something like that, he said, I'm guessing. Just using their innocence to do this. That's like one of the most vilest thing I've seen. And uh, like, you know, using the kid's innocence to do something that like that. And even here, like, you know, Jigen was like, oh, you don't understand what you did. And he was going to tell them, but Rupan stopped them, which is nice. I could see, like, you know, like, you know, which, which is, I think, like, the good decision that he took. Because if Jigen and Goemon told the kids that, oh, this is what you did, you know, oh my god, I feel like that'd be a trauma. Yeah, that'd be a trauma for them. So I'm sure they themselves would realize as they grow up what they did. But that is something different. They themselves would realize and it wouldn't be like a trauma. But if, but if they got to know it here. But if they got to know that here, like, you know, it would be a genuine trauma for them for the rest of their life. And Rupan actually stopped that from happening. And uh, yeah, like, has, like, good job, Lupan. And as Jigen in the end says, like, he's a good father. And here we go, the final battle again, you know, like this guy, I don't know what he thought. He was like, ah, I'm going to skip down. Easy money. Goes with the car, no security, nothing. And Rupan comes in, Goemon standing, Goemon makes a hole in the ground. Rupan takes the money, and, like, you know, just goes away. And <laughs> Zenigata, unfortunately, still thought that Rupan had his kids. And as I said, Zenigata really wanted Rupan to redeem himself because he was probably thinking about the kids. And he's like, Rupan, you should like, you know, change your life, Rupan. You know, think about the kids, Rupan. And Rupan was like, I don't have any kids. That was a misunderstanding. <laughs> That's how it ends. Good. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that the guy got what he deserved. No insurance money, no jewel for you. you <laughs> that's what you get. For, you know, using the kids. Like, and that, that was, like, really bad. Like, you know, that's, like, what can I say? Morally, morally, what can I say? I could not expect, accept that. Like, using this little kids as tools to his own greed and just making use of them. That's unacceptable. But, yeah, that's it. That was my reaction to episode... 44 so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out and that's it so yeah okay next week the final two episodes of part three i'll be reacting to it is episode number 13 and 29 now i have seen in my comment section a few people talking about these two episodes <laughs> because there's telling something about like these two being i'm not so sure but it feels like there's something up with these two episodes and i'm like all right like and i'm kind of curious about these two now so you know, next week i'll see what this is about so I'm, I'm i'm genuinely curious about this what these two episodes are so yeah let's see anyways uh, so yeah see you guys next week with two more episodes until then goodbye and have a nice day